Update time. Actually, there's a lot, of, lot to talk about today. First off, for those of you who are MMT Trader subscribers, or if you're on the 30-day free trial, you know I sent out, uh, or I have been sending out over the past several days, some charts showing a very significant acceleration in employment and withholding tax deposits at the Treasury. In other words, the Treasury now collecting a record amount of employment and withholding tax deposits. And that's because we are starting to see wage pressures rising. We're starting to see tightness in the labor market. And I said this was going to lead to higher levels of inflation. The Fed is off in la-la land, uh, Janet Yellen. And, you know, I've never been one of these inflationistas, these idiots uh, who have been running around for eight years talking about hyperinflation because of monetary policy. They, they just completely do not understand, you know, monetary policy. They don't understand that QE and asset purchases and negative rates and zero interest rate, uh, that's all deflationary. So they got everything wrong. They got everything wrong about inflation. They got everything wrong about the dollar. They got everything wrong about everything. Uh, I was never one of those, but I said last year when the Fed announced that it was shifting policy and it was raising rates, that was the time that we would see rates go up and also we would see inflation increase. Uh, but anyway, we're seeing these wage pressures that was uh, given out to subscribers were making money on these uh, ideas and these developments, number one. Number two. Contrary to, you know, widely held expectations, the Bank of England today did not cut interest rates, which I have to applaud them for that. And I find it astonishing because Mark Carney, the Bank of England governor, has been running around for two weeks, like screaming uh, as if the world was going to end because he said the impact or the effects of Brexit are crystallizing, although he never said what so what what form of crystallization that was? Maybe he meant you know all time record highs in stocks. I don't know. Uh, so they did not cut, and it was widely expected. And guess what? Stocks rallied all over the place. What a contrast! A uh, contrast to when the Bank of Japan and the Swiss National Bank increased their negative interest rates in a supposed stimulative move and I've said a million times that's not stimulus it's not stimulus when you buy assets and remove income and and charge a tax which is what negative interest rates are that's not stimulus and after every one of those uh, policy moves stocks went down commodities went down you saw the deflationary effect you didn't see it this time because they actually ended up doing the right thing which amazes me okay uh, PPI, getting back to that inflation thing, as a matter of fact, I wrote a piece in Real Money on the street.com yesterday that I said, watch out for the PPI report today. It's going to be much higher, and it was. It was up 0.5%. So, bonds are down, 10-year Treasury yields are up. Tomorrow, I'm telling you, CPI is going to be elevated. So, the Fed's going to have to wake up, come out of that la-la land. They still think, they're still... They still think Verizon's on strike or the Verizon workers are on strike or something. I have no idea what they're looking at. Janet Yellen, terrible. So overly cautious. You can't have a woman doing these things. I'm sorry. Maybe if it was uh, a Margaret Thatcher. I don't know. And I'm not a fan of Margaret Thatcher, just uh, for the record. So a lot going on here. British pound up. Uh, we are short euro pound that's making money. Everything is making money. Everything is making money. We have not had a loss. And by the way, I had a very nice email from a, uh, uh, one of my students yesterday who manages some money in a futures uh, account. Decent amount of money. Because I, yesterday, remember, I said my MMT trader stock portfolio up 6% now. More than the, uh, the market averages since May 2nd. He said his futures portfolio up 17.2% in that time. Zero losses. Okay, another one of my students. Zero losses. And there's a lot of them here. They'll tell you. Zero losses. Up 17.2% in the futures. 
Great job. Great job. It can be done. Okay? Losing is a choice. We choose to win. Anyway, www.pitbulleconomics.com. Click on the tab that says products and do yourself a favor. Get a 30-day free trial to MMT Trader. See you later. Bye-bye.